All right, seems passing. Let's get it. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. 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 Got alternate. Right. And left. I'm trying to get right on the seams. So shooters. So our shooters can get a more accurate shot and get a better grip on the ball. A quicker shot. Chest pass time. Got alternate lefty and ready. A snap pass. Do it. Doing it while sitting. Means got to learn the upper body mechanics. Understand the spine rotation. Get up. dribble but uh, I feel like people don't practice passing enough. Like passing is a huge part of basketball. I try to try to get as many passing reps as I get shooting reps, as I get dribbling reps. Probably we'll take more the most dribbles and then make a lot of passes. And then take some shots is basically how it goes, how my game goes, right? So, it really depends on your position, but in general, passing is a good thing, obviously. And, oh, and it needs to be practiced, or it ought to be practiced just because. Oh, just because. Technique can improve the same as with shooting and all that, so I said that's what I'd be on. Can't be having turnovers. Cannot be having turnovers. How about turnovers? Seems. Gotta get them on the seams. Mm. Entry passes in the righty pivot, the left righty style pivot. Pump fake up, go under. Take a jumper, go under. Maybe give him a bounce. Go to fake close entry. Maybe fake up, lefty hook pass. Or I could 
fake under, go over. Still trying to get them on the seams, ideally. It doesn't matter as much for a post player. It's all time. They should have time to get everything lined up. They don't necessarily need it, but in general, in general, trying to get on the seams. That's how we practice passing fucking anywhere at energy efficient basketball. Anywhere. <laughs>